Hi and welcome to this easy Joomla guide tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to give you a quick overview of the admin area of the Joomla website. This is the control panel, the screen that you see when you log in. Everything is accessible off this menu at the top, but there's various modules available that will give you access quicker to some areas that you might need access to quite regularly. First item is system, and the first item of that is control panel, which is where we are now. The next item is global configuration. This is where a lot of the system settings are, and typically here they are high level settings. You set them when installing and there's no need to look at them again. The next item here is global check-in. If you go into a content item or a module and you don't close it properly, you don't use the close button that's available at the top of these areas, it'll remain checked out. So if another user tries to access it, it'll tell them that this other person is using it. So occasionally, you might want to check all of these in. It's a good thing to do in maintenance. To do that, we check here, hit check in, and then those items will be accessible again to any user in the system. If you use caching on and you make changes to the system, sometimes you want to clear the cache so that it can rebuild. The cache itself expires after a certain period of time, and sometimes you want to clear the expired cache. Both of these things are good to do. In fact, all three things are good to do as part of maintenance every now and again. In the users menu, this is where we see all the users listed in the system. This is also where we create new users, which I'll show you in another tutorial, or edit existing users. This area also manages things like access control, user groups, all of that kind of stuff. In menus, this is where we add new menus or look at existing menus. To edit items on those menus, we go down to the item itself and that lists all the items on the menu. And again, we can go into each of these to edit them. The content area is where all the content is managed from. We can create and look at existing categories. We can create and look at existing articles. And you'll see here that in each of these screens we've gone into, they look very, very similar, and that there's a title to an item, some attributes of it, and you can typically click through on the title to the item to get to some editing screen for that, whether it's a user, a menu, or a content item. Components are a type of extension for Joomla that adds significant functionality. These are all the default components, and we'll show you how to add and edit components in other tutorials. There are other types of extensions that add functionality. Modules, plugins, templates, and languages are all types of extensions in Joomla. The final screen is the help screen. This gives you links to official Joomla help, official Joomla forums, and developer resources. So that's a quick overview of your Joomla administration area. And thanks for listening to this easy Joomla guide tutorial.